Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this beautiful exponential math problem which is power to power t is equal to t raised to power 625. So we will try to find out the value of this unknown t. How can we solve this problem where the unknown is in here in the left hand side it is in the forward and here in the right hand side it is in the base. So how can we solve this math problem? Here first of all we will try to eliminate this variable from the power from the left hand side. To relate this t from the left hand side from power we will take 1 over t in the power on both sides. So let us take 1 over t in the power in both sides. This will become 5 raised to power t whole raised to power 1 by t is equal to t raised to power 625 raised to power 1 by t. And in both sides of this equation we will use an exponential identity and we will multiply the powers with each other. So using exponential identity here this equation will become it will become 5 raised to power t times 1 by t is equal to and this will become t raised to power 625 times 1 by t. So here this t and this t will be cancelled with each other so this will become only 5 raised to power 1 which is simply 5. So this will become 5 is equal to t raised to power 625 divided by t. Now what we will do here, here in the right hand side we will try to eliminate this power 625 from the right hand side from the power. So for take we will take 1 over 625 in the power in both sides of this equation. So this equation will become, applies this will become 5 raised to power 1 by 625 is equal to t raised to power 625 divided by t whole to the power 1 by 625. Again here in the right hand side we will use an exponential identity raised to power m whole to the power n which is equal to raised to power m times n. So using that identity here we multiply these two powers. So this right hand side will become raised to power 1 over 625 is equal to this will become t raised to power 625 divided by t times 1 over 625. So here this number is in the denominator and here it is in numerator so they will cancel each other. So this will become 1 by t. So this equation will become 5 raised to power 1 over 625 is equal to t raised to power 1 by t. We can also write this equation as let us move this variable to the left hand side, so it will become t raised to power 1 by t is equal to, and this number to the right hand side, 5 raised to power 1 over 625. Now I just took it to the left hand side here, there is t in the base, so there is t in the denominator in the power, it means both are the same. So we will try to make this number and this number same like this one. So here there is 625 and there is 5. So here we will multiply such a number and divide in the power which makes this base and this denominator the same. So for that we will multiply and divide 5 in the power in the right hand side. So this equation will become applies this will become t raised to power 1 by t is equal to this will become 5 raised to power. Here we multiply 5 and also divide 5 in the power 1 by 625. Now next we can write this right hand side this power as t raised to power 1 by t is equal to and we can write this as 5 raised to power 5 times let's multiply this number with denominator so this will become 1 by 5 times 625. So let's further simplify this right hand side. Now here in the right hand side we will use an exponential identity. So here in the right hand side we will use this one exponential identity we can write rs to power m times n s rs to power m or s to power n. So using this exponential identity here we'll out this power from 5 s to power 5. So this will become this will become the left hand side will be the same t raised to power 1 by t is equal to and this will become 5 s to power 5 or s to power 1 by this number. 
When it's multiplied this number with each other, so 5 times 5 is 25, 6 is 5, 2 is carried, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, 6 is 2, 1 is carried, 5 times 6 is 30, 30 plus 1 is 31. So this will become 1 by 3, 1, 2, 5, 1 by 3, 2, 125. Here we will try to find out the value of 5 to power 5. That what is the value of 5 to power 5. So we will find out this value here. We can write 5 raised to power 5 is 5 times 5 is 25, 25 times 5 is 125, 125 times 5 is 625, and 625 is 625 times 5 is 3125. So therefore the value of 5 raised to power 5 is 3125. So we will replace this number with this value. So this equation will become t raised to power 1 by t is equal to this is 3 1 2 5 raised to power 1 by 3125 now we go to the left hand side here there is variable in the base so there is variable the same variable in the denominator so look to the right hand side here there is 3 1 2 5 in the base so there is 3 1 2 5 in the power in the denominator means both are alike so here we will use this one exponential identity from which we can compare the bases or powers. So here we will use this one exponential identity. When we have a variable and a number in this form, x is to power 1 by x is equal to rs to power 1 by a, where x is a variable and a is a constant number. So from here we can either compare the bases or powers. So from from both comparing, we will get the same results. So from here, we will get x is equal to a. So using this result, here we can write this equation as, from here, if we compare the bases or powers from both the cases, we will get the same results. So from here, we will get the value of t as t is equal to 3, 1, 2, 5. So finally, T is equal to 3125, 3125 is our answer and value of T in this interesting exponential math problem. Now we will try to verify this value of T, that is this value of T is the exact and correct value of T in this problem or not. So we will verify this value here. Now to verify this value of T, here we will rewrite our problem again. Now our problem is 5 to power T is equal to t raised to power 625. So let's replace t with this value. So this will become the value of t is 5 raised to power. The value of t is 3125. 3125 is equal to the value of t is 3125 raised to the power 625. Now we will try to make both sides the same. So for that, we will leave this number as the same. And we will change this base to its exponential form. So therefore, we can write this base as this implies this number will be the same 5 raised to power 3, 1, 2, 5 is equal to, and here we can write this number as it's in exponential form 5 raised to power 5 whole raised to power 625. So here in the right hand side, we will use exponential identity and we multiply the powers with each other. So this right hand side will become the pen side will be the same, 5 raised to power 3, 1, 2, 5 is equal to, and this will become 5 raised to power. Let's multiply these two powers, so this will become 5 times 625. So let's multiply these two numbers, so this will become 5 raised to power 3, 1, 2, 5 is equal to 5 raised to power 5 times 5 is 25, so 5 to is carried, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, 2 1 is carried, 5 times 6 is 30, 30 plus 1 is 31, so this is 3125. Now, I just look at both sides here. In both sides, both the numbers are same. Same base, same power. Since both numbers are same, so it means that t is equal to 3125 is the exact and correct value of t and answer in this interesting exponential math problem.